Welcome back guys. Today in this video I'm going to be honoring today's date, 12-12-12. This is only going to happen once in our lifetimes, so I thought I'd honor this day with my top 12 apps I could not live without on my phone. So, let's get started here. Number one app is going to be Google Chrome. I love this app. It's the easiest internet browser that I have used on any phone or anything coolest thing up here in this corner right here you get all your tabs and you can easily swipe them out and delete them or exchange from tab to tab and it's super easy super nice to save bookmarks and everything the second on my list is of course is going to be uninstaller I cannot live without this app it makes uninstalling unwanted apps super easy uh, like here you can see all the apps I have um, on my phone right now you can hit any one and you and it goes to the uninstall section just if you were doing it from settings so I would hit OK, but I'm not. I love this app, so I'm not going to do that. The next one, of course, is going to be antivirus through AVG. And I love this app because it allows me to make sure my computer is protected. I can check my performance, privacy settings, and also an anti-theft feature. This is also great if you're in a big city. You might get your phone stolen or anything like that, and you can recover your phone and location in a matter of seconds. An easy button right down here to scan. You can scan your entire phone and make sure everything's okay with your phone. The next feature uh, app is going to be Log Me In Ignition. This app is awesome because I can access any computer that I have Log Me In installed on, and I can click right here, and I can access the desktop to of any computer I have accessed, access any files, programs, pretty much control it from anywhere in the world. And here you can see you have my desktop just right there and it's just right over there like that super easy um, you can control everything uh, move around and access pretty much anything you would like through that feature alright the fifth app is going to be scan I love this app because if I'm trying to find a product online and I can't find it all I have to do is scan the barcode of the product and I can find different price points and um, different websites where I can look at that product and find out where exactly I can get it from any QR code you can also scan with this software um, the next app is going to be documents to go this is an awesome app to be able to edit and look at any document spreadsheet or PowerPoint or PDF that you might have on your phone um, it's really awesome it's very easy to use and I could not do a lot of my schoolwork without it the next app, of course, is going to be back, uh, app backup and restore, right here. Um, it allows me to back up and restore any apps that I have on my phone or on my SD card. Here you can see all my ins installed apps right there. And then if I go over to archive, these are all the backed up apps. And if I just want to restore something, all I have to do is check it and hit the button back down here at the bottom and restore it. It's awesome, very easy to use, could not live without it, especially if I'm getting a new phone. Uh, this phone breaks, or if I am um, changing out SD cards, it's awesome. The eighth app on my list, of course, is going to be Zedge. One of the funnest apps to use is to get your wallpapers, live wallpapers, ringtones, uh, notification tones, and also games. If I want to go to a ringtone, all I have to do is hit it, and it comes with all these other ones. I can search right up here in the top for any specific band. Um, ringtone maybe my friend has or something like that I can get it from here for free it's super easy to set and set as your favorites or even just download onto your phone for later the next app is going to be of course G-Tunes um, music this app allows me to search look at different charts throughout the entire world and download any, t any music any song I want uh, for free I'll be doing a, a more detailed walkthrough of this app later on and the tenth app here of course is going to be Dropbox I think everybody should have this you get two two and a half gigs automatically when you sign up it's super easy to store stuff and you can access it from any computer um, I have automatic camera updates so all my pictures that I take with this camera automatically update and transfer or transfer to Dropbox. 
and I, and I can access these through any computer, even my own and other people's, or any public computer. I have to, all I have to do is go to Dropbox.com, log in, and I can access any of my information. So that's really cool. Could not live without that, especially as a backup form. Um, the eleventh app on my list, of course, is going to be Google Goggles. This app is awesome. I love Google for this app. I am so glad they put this out because I can take a video picture or upload a picture that I've already taken in the past and do a, a Google search and it will scan that um, picture or video for any recognizable items um, and it will do a Google search under it and I can get any information on that I can Google search it under the shopper I can find out how much it is online I can pretty much get any type of information on almost anything that I want through this app it's awesome and finally but not least is my twelfth pick and it's going to be the four shared app. I talked about this app on my last video on how to get apps for free. I'll do an annotation right up here when I get that uploaded. And this app is awesome because I will not have a, I wouldn't have a lot of the apps that I have right now on my phone without this app. Um, this allows me to search for music, videos, TV shows, apps, documents, pictures, anything that I want. I can get through this app for free. It's a file sharing website app. And it's just awesome to have on your phone, no matter if you're a geek, an average user, or just a beginner Android user. You want to have this phone, this app on your phone. So, to sum it all up, we got number one is Chrome. Two, uninstall to help me uninstall unwanted apps. Antivirus to protect my phone. Log me in to be able to control any computer under my servers that I want to control from anywhere in the world. Um, scan so I can find any prices and QR code information on my phone instantly. Documents to go so I can uh, handle any of my Word documents, anything like that on my phone. Super easy and super fast. Um, app backup and restore so I don't lose any information if my phone breaks or transfer phones. All I have to do is download this app and restore it from my SD card. Super easy, super quick. Don't have to mess with any settings or anything like that. Uh, Zedge for any kind of ringtones or notification tones that I want. GTunes to get all the free music I want. Dropbox uh, to share and and store any kind of documents, pictures I want, and access them through any computer that I'm at at the time. Of course, Google uh, goggles to get any information over anything that I want right away from anywhere. And of course, last but not least, the, the Four Shared app is an awesome app. Like I said, go if you don't have it on your phone, go out and get it now. It's free on the marketplace, so go get it and. Thanks for watching. That was my 12 top apps on my phone right now that I cannot live without. So if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. That would really help me out. Of course, I said I'm making a new video, a uh, new YouTube channel. So if you can subscribe to me and give me any comments on, or request any video app reviews in the future that you would like me to do, I'm more welcome to do that. So just give me a comment, and I'll see you guys later. So thanks, guys.